Octonauts, my great-grandfather once visited the waters where the octopod sits tonight. Was he an ocean explorer too, Professor? Yes, indeed, Captain Barnacles. He wrote this book about the amazing things he saw in his travels. But there's a mystery in here that I've never solved. Yeah, I love a mystery. Then listen to this, Quasi. It was a beautiful starry night. The water was calm and smooth, when all of a sudden, I saw something leap out of the water. Something remarkable. And that something was a... Hmm. Huh? A what? That's the mystery. The next page in the book is missing, you see. Oh. Professor, we're in the same part of the ocean where your great-grandfather saw something amazing leap out of the water. Maybe we can discover what it was. That would be wonderful, Captain. There's a map in the book that might help you find it. Yeah. Why don't you take it with you? Oh, are you sure? Uh, it's never left my library, but... We'll take good care of it, me hearty. We promise. Don't worry, Professor. I'll put it in my special waterproof satchel just to be extra safe. All right, Shellington. Octonaut to the launch bay. <laughs> Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Ah, I don't see a thing. I better check the map in the professor's book to make sure we're in the right place. OK, but be careful with it. Of course I'll be careful with it. And why don't I hold it for you while you look? I can hold it myself. <laughs> Quasi Shellington, look at this. <laughs> Flying fish. <gasps> Stand back. I've got it. Those flying fish took the professor's book. We're going after them. There it is, Captain. Hold tight. You almost have them, matey. They can't get away from us now. have a problem catching up to them. When flying fish want to make a getaway, they leap out of the water. <laughs> and look, they're gliding away. We'll never catch them now. Ow! Oof! Out! There's one that didn't get away. <gasps> Must get away! It's no use. I can't make it. Are you okay? No, I'm doomed. I'm a flying fish who can't fly. Oh, please don't eat me. Don't worry. We don't want to eat you. Ow! Oh, me tail fin. I smacked it on some rocks and now it really hurts. We know someone who can help you with your fin. Why don't you come back to the octopod with us? Uh, but Captain, what about the professor's book? Hi, we've got to find those flying fish again. Agreed. But first, our new friend needs help. We'll let them know back at the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Peso, we've brought back a flying fish who needs your help. Aye, Captain. I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Now, what seems to be the trouble? It's me tail fin. <sighs> you need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, it feels better already. You should stay here and rest a bit before you take off again. Okay, thank you. 
Captain, the flying fish will be able to fly again in no time. Ooh, flying fish! That must be the remarkable thing that my great-grandfather saw. I'll add that to his book right away. You tell him. No, you tell him. <sighs> uh, well, Professor, we sort of lost the book. <gasps> you lost it? But, but how? A school of flying fish came leaping out of the water. And before you could say Davy Jones's locker, they took off with your book. Oh, dear. I see. It's gone. But we'll get it back for you. On my honour as an octonaut, we will. But how? Those flying fish got away from us before, but now we know how to catch up to them. We just have to leap out of the water and fly like they do. But, Captain, how in the seven seas are we going to do that? Tweak? I'm on it, Cap. I'll get a little advice from our new friend on how to make the guppy fly. The first thing you have to do is leap out of the water. That means you have to go up very, very fast. Well, I already know how to do that. Wait, that's just the first step. What goes up? <laughs> um, oh. Must come down. <laughs> ah, I almost had it. After you leap out of the water, how do you stay in the air? Oh, I spread me pectoral fins like this so I can glide. Hmm. And I use me tail fin to push myself out of the water. Fascinating. Hmm. Pectoral fins and a tail fin that can move. Got it. <sighs> okay. I've added pectoral fins and a tail fin. Fully adjustable. Now, Cap, all we have to do is test her out and see if she'll fly. I'm afraid there's no time for a test, Tweak. Aye, we've got to get the professor's book back. There's not a second to lose. Peso, is our flying fish friend good to go? Time for a checkup. <laughs> Try moving your tail fin. How does it feel? Oh, it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> He's ready to fly, Captain. With your help, we'll find your friends and get the professor's book back. Into the gups, Octonauts, let's do this. Yow! Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Aye, aye, Cap. Oh, mateys. And there's the professor's book. Let's see if we can fly too, me hearty. That's incredible. Look at them go. Amazing. Ooh, flying fish. I see it. Octonauts, thanks to you, we can now add the ending to my great-grandfather's adventure. We are ready. Oh, yes. Please. It was a beautiful starry night. The water was calm and smooth when all of a sudden I saw something leap out of the water. Something remarkable. And that something was... A magnificent school of flying fish.
Oh, no thanks, Turnip. It's almost lunchtime. <laughs> Guys, the captain! Octonauts, we've just spotted a beautiful beach. Now, we've all been working hard, so how about we take the afternoon off and have a picnic? All right! Sounds great. Delightful. We'll find a good spot, mateys. And then you can join us on the beach. Octonauts, prepare for a picnic. Captain, I think Tunip just said that the Vegemals will make your favourite dessert, vanilla kelp pudding. Thanks, Tunip. Be sure to make plenty for everyone, because you can never have too much pudding. Barnacles out. <sighs> Fresh air, sunshine and sand. Ah, can't wait to kick off me boots and dig me paws in the sand. It's so quiet and peaceful and... <sighs> Are you hurt? Ah. Don't be afraid, little crab. What's wrong? It's my leg. It really hurts. I'm Peso. I'm a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Let me take a look. Uh, right here. Hmm. You need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, thanks. That's much better. How did you hurt your leg? I fell off a rock when I was running away from... the blob. <gasps> What's... the blob? It's a thing that grows bigger and bigger and bigger. How big does it get? So big that it pushed me right off the rock where I live. If you don't get out of the way, it stings you. I got away, but my crab friends are still there, trapped in a hole in the rock. I have to go back and save them from... the blob. You won't have to do it alone. We'll help you. Aye, matey. We're not afraid of... the blob. Oh, wow. First you fixed my leg, and, and now you're going to help me and my friends. Who, who are you guys? We are the Octonauts. Barnacles to Dashy. Deshi here, Captain. I'm afraid it's not picnic time just yet. We need to take care of an emergency on the beach first. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll be at HQ if you need us. Don't worry, Tunip. You can still make pudding. Almost to the rock where my friends are trapped. <gasps> there it is. The blob. That's the blob, me hearty. It's a puny little thing. Yeah, but one blob can become two blobs. And two blobs can become four blobs. <laughs> How it gets so big. Look! Flappity flippers. That's where my friends are trapped. Barnacles to Shellington. Shellington here, Captain. Have you ever heard of creatures that can split in two and make copies of themselves? Why, yes, Captain. Those are aggregate anemones. Aggravating enemies? No, no, no. Aggregate anemones. They can make lots and lots of copies of themselves. And when two groups of these anemones meet, they fight over space. They have special stingers for attacking each other. No! Oh. No! Oh. No! Oh. No! Oh. Uh-oh! It's hit the Octo Alert! Are you all right?
right? Captain, we were just attacked by... Oh, no. The radio's broken. Mm. Vanilla kelp pudding. Mm. Delicious. We've lost contact with the octopod. Ah! I bet these anemones are trying to take over the octopod just like they took over this rock. Hmm. Dashi said they were under attack. We need to get back there right away. Uh, don't leave me here alone. We won't. Peso, stay here with our crab friend, but don't move. Quasi and I will be back as soon as we can. Yes, Captain. Quasi, let's go. Into the gum. Don't worry. We'll help your friends just as soon as the Captain gets back. <laughs> oh, no. They're making more copies of themselves. Oh my, there's a different group of anemones on the other side of the rock. Ooh. They're getting closer. Ah, I don't see anyone in HQ. Just a whole lot of blobs. All right, we're going in. Yeah, it's quiet. Too quiet. I don't like all this quiet. Then why are we whispering? Hm. Oh. Shiver me whisk! Sh sorry, Captain. What? We're having a bit of a, a pudding problem. Pudding? pudding. Mm -hmm. Well, at least it's a tasty problem. Hi, Captain. But we need to get back to the beach to help Peso. Don't worry, Cap. We'll get this pudding problem fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. All right, Tweak. Quasi, into the gob again. Peso, we're on our way. Hold your position. I don't think I have much of a choice, Captain. Ow! They're stinging each other. Ow! 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 That really hurt. Oh yeah, I stung you because you stung me. You stung me first. No, you stung me first. Ow! 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 Got you last. Ow! Good. Got you last. Ow! 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 My friends, they'll get stung. Ow! 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 Stop! Anemones, please. Stop stinging each other. This rock belongs to us, and they've got to go. We've got to go. They've got to go. So you're fighting for a home? We get to stay here because we were here first. We were here first. Actually, this little crab and his friends were here first. Excuse me. Just coming through, Thank you very much. Which means both of you are on their rock. Oh. Oh. Well, we have to live somewhere. What about us? We have to live somewhere, too. Let's work out a way for everyone to share this rock. Why don't you, anemones, move back and stay on this side of the rock, and you, anemones, stay on this side, and both of you keep the middle free for the crabs. And please, no more stinging. We'll, we'll do, do it, it if they, they do, do it. it. We'll, we'll do, do it. it. High five! <laughs> Ouch! Yay! Yay! <laughs> now let me see if I have something to make your stings feel better. Yeah, they really hurt. I bet mine hurt more. No, mine do. I've got a Peso. Yeah, I've got a rest. Are you okay? Everything's fine, Captain. Peso stopped the battle of the blobs. Good work, Peso. But what about the other blobs back at the octopod, Captain? Oh, don't worry, Peso. Hi, they're not the stinging kind. Now, this is a blob of pudding. <laughs> Octonauts, activate spoons. There's plenty for everyone. Dig in. Come on, yeah. dig in. Yeah. Peso, be sure to keep an eye on your little brother. 
We're going to have so much fun, Mum. We're going to play games on the octopod and we're going to... All right, Pinto, but we can't play right now. Captain Barnacles and the others are out on a mission and they need my help. There's an injured fish who needs a medic right away. Pinto, promise to do whatever your big brother tells you. And Peso, good luck on your mission. Love you. Love you too, Mummy. Bye, Mum. Wow, a mission! This is just like the time those baby sea snails were in trouble and you saved them. Remember? You were a big hero. Oh, I wouldn't call myself a hero. Well, how about when you have to take care of animals that are big and scary? You have to be really brave to do that. Well, it's all part of the job. Can I come with you? Please, please, please! I don't see why not. As long as you stay out of trouble. I will. Oh, wow! Thanks, Peso! Captain, I'm on my way. And I've brought my little brother Pinto with me. Ah, very good. We'll see you both in a few minutes. Pinto, scarf off, helmet on. Good to see you again, Pinto. Hi. Glad you're here to help out your brother. Where's the patient? Right this way. I bet it's a barracuda, or a devilfish, or, or maybe even a giant octopus. Oh. That's the patient? Uh -huh. Say, ah. Uh. I reckon it's really, really serious. Can you even talk? Uh, actually, I've got a bruise on me fin. Pinto, would you please hand me your stethoscope? A thermometer, tongue depressor, body cast! Just a bandage roll, please. There, that should do it. Dashi, can you please take a picture so I can show my friends what a hero my big brother is? No problem. You should rest. Would you like to come back to the octopod with us so that you can get better? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Good work, Peso. And Pinto. We still have some exploring to do around here. See you later back at the Octopod. Wow, an anglerfish. <gasps> What's that? Are you a snake or an eel? Uh, hey guys, would you come over here and help me work out what I'm looking at? Hey, what is that? I wonder what that was. It was huge. Ah, oh, a tail like that can only belong to one thing, mateys. The dreaded monster of the deep known as the Nakawak. The Naka what? The Naka whack. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of it, he does. Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? I bet that Naka whack comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashi took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal, but none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Thanks, Professor. Barnacle's out. Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Uh, oh, I'd love to play, but I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one? And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters. Look, over there! No, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. Hi, 
right into that Nakawak's lair. Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. Inkling? Captain? Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh. Ah. <coughs> Sound the Octo Alert! Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to your stations! Octonaut, who sounded the octo alert? What's wrong? I'm sorry, Captain, but we saw the monster. It was right outside Professor Inkling's window and... Ah, we have to get back to the octopod now. Hang on. Long tail... Red spikes, silvery skin? Of course! Now I know what it is. It's an oarfish! An oarfish? I've never even heard of an oarfish. That's because they're so rare. <laughs> you see, Pinto, I told you it wasn't a monster. Pinto? Where did he go? Oh dear, I know where he's going. And we'd better catch him before he gets there. Stop! Pinto, what do you think you're doing? I'm looking for the monster. It's not a monster, it's an oarfish, and... <gasps> wow! That's the longest fish I've ever seen in my life. I don't think the oarfish feels very well. Listen, he's crying. Let me check. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Orfish, are you all right? Oh, no, I feel awful. Why did you follow us back to the octopod? Oh, I wouldn't usually, I'm kind of shy. But when I saw you take care of that other fish, I thought maybe you could help me too. Of course I'll help. What's wrong? Oh, my throat, it really hurt. And I'm the longest fish in the ocean, so that's a lot of throat. OK, let's have a look. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Wider, please. Ah. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, vast! It's the Nakawak! And it's got peso. We have to save him. Your throat is all red. I think all you have is a bad cold. Why don't we... Yeah! Don't worry, Peso. I won't let the knackerwag hurt me, little buddy. Whoa, whoa, Quasi. False alarm. This isn't a knackerwag. Huh? It's an oarfish. The longest fish in the ocean. <laughs> you mean you weren't trying to eat Peso here? Ah! Of course not. I only eat tiny things. And besides, I don't have any teeth. Luke! Ah. I knew that. Now we just have to work out how to fit him into the sick bay. Amazing! The oarfish can keep his body straight up while he swims. Teal looks good down here. How do things look up there, Peso? Looks good, Tweak. Ah, oh, I'm feeling better already. He is incredibly long. I can see why you might think he was a sea monster, Quasi. Yep, my brother's a hero, all right. He helps any creature who's sick or hurt, from the smallest fish to the longest. And look, Pinto, I took that picture you wanted of him so you can show your friends. <laughs> Antarctica's straight ahead, Captain. Everyone, prepare for ice landing in three, 
Everyone ready to get started? I am, Captain. I can't wait to see what creatures live up here on the ice. Quasi, you and Peso will help Shellington watch the ice for creatures. <sighs> You'd have to have coconuts for brains to live here in Antarctica. Can anyone see any creatures out there? Not yet. It's all just white, white, white... And red! Shiver me whiskers! There's something red straight ahead! <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! It looks like a waterfall made out of ice. But why is the ice red? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Fire up the Ice Spy. The Ice Spy will show us what's under the ice. Ah, vast. There's a lake down there. That must be where the red ice is coming from. The ice is very thick. Oh, the lake must have been sealed under it for millions of years. Who knows what creatures might live down there? Let's take a look. Peso, detach Octo Sled and activate Ice Drill. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we go. Captain, the ice is too thick. The drill can't take it. We're not giving up yet. Send more heat to the drill. OK, Captain. Almost there. Captain, the drill is broken. Aye, but we reached the lake. The drill will have to wait. Shellington, are you ready to head outside and... Oh, oh. <laughs> That's the spirit, matey. Hurry, I can't wait to see what's down there. Oh! Take it slowly, Shellington. One careless move out here and we could be in trouble. Yeah! Oh, secret lake, here I come! Amazing. No one has ever seen this place before. Have you any idea why the water's red, Shellington? Hmm. The water contains tiny bits of rusty iron. That's why it's so red. There's rust in the water. Careful! It would be easy to get lost down here. Octonauts, stay close. Ah, the water is also very salty. And cold! And dark! Ah, I don't think any creatures could survive down here. Sorry, Shellington. We'd better get back to the Gup S. Ah, uh, I might as well take a water sample first. Cheer up, Shellington. We did find this amazing red waterfall. And we learned what makes it red. And we're all ship-shape and toasty warm again. Uh, I suppose so. But I would have loved to have found a creature down there, even just one. It's been a long day. We'll rest here before we head home. Ah, oh, but it's still light outside. Remember, in Antarctica, it doesn't get dark at this time of year. Not even at night. Oh. <sighs> How am I supposed to sleep if it's not dark? Aha! Hello? Huh? Oh. Hello? <gasps> what? I must be hearing things. Maybe I need some sleep. Hello? Over here! Huh? <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! No, not jellyfish. Microbe. Name's Mervyn. I'm a teeny tiny microbe. I'm so small, you can't see me with just your eyes. <laughs> nice to meet you. But where did you come from? From the Red Lake, under the ice, of course. That's my home. Uh, I didn't think anything could live down there. It's so cold and dark. Oh, but it's just right for me. I don't mind that it's cold and dark at all. <laughs> what about you? Is this where you live? Uh, no, this is the Gup S. My name is Shellington. I'm an octonaut. An octo-what? <laughs> oh, I want to hear all about it, but oh dear. Mervyn, what's wrong? It's just a little bit warm and bright up here. I think you'd better take me back down to the lake. Already? 
But I haven't introduced you to the others. Oh, hurry, Shellington. I'm boiling hot in here. Oh, uh, don't worry, Mervyn. I'll get you home. Uh, this ice hole feels smaller than last time. Keep going. I'm feeling cooler already. Uh, uh, <laughs> Oh, that's more like it. Oh, thank you, Shellington. Come on, there's so much I want to show you. Well, uh, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a quick look around. Great! <laughs> Follow me. Oh, you have to meet the others. Others? A little further. A little further. Jumping jellyfish. Shellington, meet the other microbes. There's so many of you. But how do you find enough food down here? Oh, we don't need food. We get all the energy we need from the rust in the water. Yeah, we eat rust, man. Oh, that's Jeb. This is Shirley. Oh, and say hi to Alice. Hi, hi. hi. Oh, hello. Pleased to meet you. I can't wait to tell the others about you. <laughs> uh, oh, if I can find my way back out of here. Was the ice hole this way? Or was it that way? Oh, that's not good. Uh, Mayday! Mayday! Shellington to Guppes! Come in, please! Help! Huh? Mayday! Come in! Shellington to Guppes! What was Come that? Come in, please! Where am I? Captain Barnacles, do you read me? Shellington, where are you? Captain, I'm in the lake. Tiny creatures. Captain, help! Yeah! Quasi and Peso, to the ice hole! Octonauts, Shellington is stranded down in the ice lake. We have to rescue him. The temperature is dropping fast. If the hole freezes over, there'll be no way to get him out. Then there's no time to lose. Quasi, you're with me. Peso, you stay here and keep your eye on the ice hole. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> oh, this is taking forever, Captain. I think I know a faster way down. Agreed. On three. One, two... Three! Yeah! No sign of him, Captain. Shellington! Shellington! Captain Barnacles! Did you hear that? Nah. It's just the cold playing tricks with your mind. There it is again. What was it Shellington said? Something about tiny creatures. Follow those voices. Shellington? Oh, dear. Shellington! Shellington! Captain! Quasi! How did you find me? We showed them the way. That's Mervyn. He lives down here with all his microbe friends. The cold, dark water doesn't bother them at all. Hello. Hey. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Captain, come in. The ice hole is closing fast. Hurry. Quasi, Shellington, we'd better get out of here. Already? This is the most excitement we've had down here in like a million years. Maybe two. Thanks for your help, Mervyn. Don't worry, we'll come back and visit sometime. Bye. 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 Thank you. Now let's eat some more rust, man. Quick, before the hole freezes over completely. Peso, <laughs> 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 hey, lower the rescue line. Ooh. Right, Peso, pull us up. Hold on tight. Flappity Flipper! Peso, hit the brake! Brake? Brake? Brake! Nice driving, Peso. Thank you, Captain. I still can't believe you found actual living creatures down there, Shellington. How many microbes do you think were down there? Oh, well, let's see. Carry the two, multiply by five, about 10,003,062. Oh, no, wait, I forgot about that big one with the squiggly tail. Uh... 
say ah, oh, please? Ah! 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 You're both perfectly healthy. Captain, these sea cucumbers can go back to their rocks now. Okay, let's go. Thanks. Ewan, I could use a checkup. Of course. What's your name? <laughs> My name's Dorian. Careful now. I'm an old jelly. I'll be very careful. <laughs> I could use a little snacky snack. <gasps> oh, no! Ah! Oh, this is too scary for an old jelly like me. <laughs> huh? Now, where's that jelly go? Uh... Dorian, is that you? <laughs> what happened to your tentacles? Are you all right? Do you need help? <laughs> Captain, Quasi, follow that baby jellyfish. Uh, why are we chasing after a little baby jellyfish? A couple of minutes ago, he was a grown-up jelly. But then he turned into a baby. But grown-ups don't turn into babies. But I saw it with my own eyes. I know who might be able to explain it. Shellington? Shellington here, Captain. Shellington, take a look at this. That's a baby jellyfish, Captain. Yes, but a few minutes ago, he was a grown-up jellyfish. He was frightened by a sea turtle, and then something very strange happened. The grown-up jellyfish changed into a baby jellyfish. Yes. Jumping immortal jellyfish! Don't lose sight of that baby jelly! Right, I'll need my nightcap. I mean my notecap. Ah, I mean my notebook. Huh? Oh, uh, uh, tunip, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the Jelly Bay! The Jelly Bay? Uh... Do Jelly Bay, not the Oh, uh, thanks, Tunip. Uh, one more time. Octonauts, to the Launch Bay! <laughs> Shellington, what's going on? Captain, this is so exciting. You found an immortal jellyfish. I, you, you still have him, don't you? <laughs> right here, safe and sound. What's so exciting about it, matey? An immortal jellyfish can do something no other creature can do. Turn back into a baby and start its life all over again. So that means an immortal jelly can live forever? Yes, unless something eats it. Don't worry, I've got it. Captain, the immortal jelly is the only creature in the world who makes this amazing change. I've never had the chance to see one for myself. Until now, we'll keep this baby immortal jelly safe until you can get here. Thank you, Captain. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, wait, uh, where's my notebook? Uh, and my magnifying glass. Oh, oh, thanks, Tunit. No, no, I'll drive. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Be careful, Shellington. Oh, don't worry. Right. Uh, oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. oh that's better. Captain, I'm on my way. I'll be there as fast as I can. All right, Shellington, but don't worry. We'll take good care of this baby jelly. Now all we have to do is to wait for Shellington. Do, 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 do. Shellington, Shellington. Oh, where are all those bubbles coming from? <gasps> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah! Whoa. <gasps> oh, no! Where's Dorian? There, mateys! We've got to catch that jelly before the whale swallows it. No, it's heading for the whale's mouth. <laughs> Time for some tickling. Tickling? We'll tickle the whale to keep his mouth open long enough to grab the baby jelly. Quasi, you take the tail, 
I'll take the belly, and Peso... I'll take the jelly. Let's go. Activate Tickle. <laughs> yeah, got you. <laughs> hey, hey, Whoa, you guys. <laughs> now that was a good laugh. Phew. Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Come in, Shellington. How's the baby immortal jelly? Oh, he's doing just fine. Except that he almost got swallowed by a whale. <gasps> swallowed by a whale? <laughs> Don't worry. The baby jelly is safe and sound. It might be a good idea uh, to set him down somewhere on a nice, secure... Rocker. Rock! Yes, a growing jelly goes through big changes. First, the baby attaches to a rock. Next, it turns into a polyp. And then the polyp turns into the grown-up jelly. Understood. We'll find a rock then. And I'll see you soon, Captain. Shellington, out. Out, out of the way! <laughs> oh, oh. oh. I'll, I'll just get us going again. Uh... <laughs> the gup's not working. We need another way to travel. Swimming will take too long. Booster, booster. Booster packs. Good thinking, Tunip. Activate booster packs. <laughs> Whoa. This looks like a good spot for the baby jelly. Here you go. No. <laughs> I think he likes it, matey. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. No, that's more like it. Dorian, is that you? Of course it's me, man. I've just been going through some changes, that's all. I've gone from a baby to a polyp. And it won't be long until I'm all grown up again. I hope Shellington gets here in time to see it happen. Uh, not far. Oh, no. Let's boost uh, our speed. Ah! Oh! Oh! I broke the booster packs. I'm sorry, Tunip. Shalada! Tunip? The Santa Rama! The bar! Oh, good thinking, Tunip. To the Coral Reef, please. Next stop, the Coral Reef. And you better hold on tight! <laughs> what is it, Dorian? I'm feeling a little funny. You don't have a fever. Does anything hurt? Are you hungry? Or sleepy? No, man. It's, it's like I need to sneeze or a hiccup. Oh, make a change. Oh, this is it. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. <laughs> Look at me. I'm all grown up. And Shellington missed it, Captain. Oh, no. That sailfish is coming right for me. <laughs> oh, amazing. I got to see him turn into a baby jelly right before my eyes. You got here just in time, Shellington. Super, super. Well... We hit a teeny bump here and there, but mostly it was smooth sailing. Right, Tunip? <laughs> As 
as the little fishy swam closer to the shipwreck, he heard a strange, whispery voice. <coughs> then an eerie white something rose up from the shadows of the sunken ship. It was what we pirates call a sea ghost. It's slimy fingers stretched from its hands like long, squirmy eels. Its voice came to him in a spooky whisper. It said... I have an urgent message for Captain Barnacle. Go! <laughs> the vampire squid! Oh, phew. It's all right. He's an old friend. What seems to be the problem? Captain Barnacles, I have come from the deep down below where I have heard the cry of a hurt creature. A hurt creature? Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, our friend the vampire squid has heard an injured creature down in the midnight zone. What sort of creature? Uh, I, I don't know. It is very dark and spooky down there. I get scared easily. Peso, why don't you take the guppy down below and investigate? As a medic, it's my duty to help any creature who's hurt or sick, no matter what. Even if they're hurt or sick in a very spooky place. If it's spooky down there, you're going to need help, matey. Captain, I'm going too. I'll stay in touch on the radio. Let me know if you run into any trouble. Yes, Captain. Aye, right, Captain. Over there. That is where I heard the injured thing. Look at that. A shipwreck. And strange whispery noises too, just like in your story. Aye, matey. You don't think there's a sea ghost down here, do you? Ah, this is too spooky for me. Ugh, slime. Those noises sound like they're coming from over there. I'm going in for a closer look. Come in, Peso. Yes, Captain. Peso, we've got you and Quasi on the radar. We'll keep an eye on you from here. Thanks, Captain. We found a shipwreck, and strange noises seem to be coming from inside. It could be the hurt creature. Over and out. in here. Quasi, is that you? <laughs> oh, phew! You're not a sea ghost. You're an anglerfish. Thank goodness someone heard me. I've got this pain in my lantern. Can you help? That's what I'm here for. Hmm. Looks like you've twisted this. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> there's, there's, ah. there's nothing to worry about. This won't hurt. <laughs> now to get you a sticker. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Flappity flippers! Hey, sir! Oh, you don't want to go in there, boy! I'm coming for you, matey! Hey, so! Hey, oh. hey medical bag. He would never leave this line about. And there's that noise again. Captain, I found Peso's bag, but Peso's nowhere to be seen. Well, according to the radar, he should be nearby. Yeah! That's it, Quasi. Keep going. 
Quasi, there's something else aboard the shipwreck. Whatever it is, it's heading straight for you. I don't see anything. It's getting closer. Closer? Quasi, it's standing right next to you. I don't see anything. Behind! In front! Just in turn! Captain! Captain, I, I can't hear you! Come in, Quasi! Captain, we've lost all radio contact. I know you hear someone. What? Who's there? Show yourself! Wow! <laughs> Got you this time! <laughs> yeah! A sea ghost! <laughs> Did you have to do that? Well, sorry, Quasi. I didn't mean to scare you. You... you didn't? It's just... I think this wreck may be haunted by a sea ghost. I saw something too. But sea ghosts are only make-believe, aren't they? The sea ghost? <laughs> Barnacles. I came down as soon as we lost radio contact. Were you expecting someone else? Yes, the sea ghost. Sea ghost? It's got a strange whispery voice and long white fingers like slimy eels. It tried to grab me with them. Captain, it snuck up behind me and listen. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants us to be here. We'd better move out, fast. This way, hurry. Ah! The sea ghost strikes again. <laughs> I've got you. I've got you. <gasps> it's got me. <laughs> this way. <sighs> Did we just get elbowed by a ghost? <laughs> Just a little further. Whoa! This way! Um... Pardon? Did you say help? Help a ghost? I'm so sorry to bother you, but I'm not actually a ghost. I'm a long-armed squid. A long-armed squid? I've seen squids before, and they don't look like ghosts. Oh, but there are lots of different kinds of squid. Giant squid, vampire squid, and me, a long-armed squid. See? So those were your elbows that bumped us earlier. Oh, yes. I'm uh, really sorry about that. These elbows of mine are always getting in the way. We're the only squid that have them, you know. But I'm afraid my elbows aren't the problem. Your tentacle is tangled. Yeah, that's why I was trying to, you know, get your attention. But why didn't you just ask us for help? Well, we long-armed squids are, well, shy. I'm sorry if I uh, frightened you. Frightened? <laughs> It'd take more than a squid to frighten me. Oh, do you think you could help me with my tentacle, if it wouldn't be too much trouble? No trouble at all. Octonauts? Let's untangle this tentacle. Ready, Peso? Ready. Oh, I'm free. Hmm, you need a bandage on that. Oh, it feels better already. Thank you, Peso. It was no trouble at all. You be careful with those elbows of yours. I will. Goodbye. Cheerio. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, my friends. Did you find it? Wait. You forgot your medical bag. Ah, ghost. Oh, vampire. Ah, squid. <laughs> <laughs> He 
Here we are, the lava tubes. Great, let's get started. Uh, I don't see any lava. That's because it's all underground. The hot lava flows under the seabed. When it dries, it makes caves like these. They're called lava tubes. Inside, it can get very hot. How hot? That's what we're going to find out. Shellington. We'll use these special thermometers to see how hot they are. But going inside a lava tube can be dangerous. So we'll check from the outside, like this. This one's very, very hot. Fascinating. I've used a thermometer lots of times to take sick creatures' temperatures. This shouldn't be too hard. Just be careful, everyone, and watch out for loose boulders and steam vents. easier if I were bigger and faster. Hey, buddy, you all right? Um, who said that? I did, down here. Uh, uh, ooh. The name's Frank. What's yours? Um, Peso? Peso? We heard you shout. Is everything all right? I, I'm fine, but I found a rock, and its name is Frank. I think the heat might be getting to him, Captain. Hiya, fellas. I'm Frank. Oh! But how? Aha! Uh -huh. Fascinating. Well, what do you see? Frank isn't a rock. He's a water bear. How you doing? Water bears are tiny creatures that live all over the world. That's right. Oceans, forests, snowy mountains. We live everywhere. My uncle Gary even went into outer space. But you're so small. We may be small, but we're tough. You gotta be tough to live around here. With all the lava tubes and big rocks and sleep bags. Frank! The lava tube. Huh? What? Yeah. Time to sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, a teeny tiny water bear has fallen into a hot lava tube and we've got to get him out. Captain, exploring lava tubes is extremely dangerous. You never know when one might suddenly erupt. Then we'll need some way to look inside and see what we're dealing with. Dashy? Already on it, Captain. This rover cam will show us the inside of the lava tube. Looks hot. I just hope Frank is all right in there. Dashy, over there. It's Frank's rock. Can you pick it up, Dashy? I'll try. Easy, easy. The heat must be damaging the rover cam, but I almost have it. Oh. Lost it. Oh, no. It's too hot in there. Then we'll just have to go in and find Frank ourselves. You can't just swim into a lava tube. It's as hot as an oven in there. That's why I brought these. Heatproof diving suits. These will protect you from the heat, and the octo goggles will help you see Frank. If we follow the rover cam's cable, it should lead us to Frank's rock. Oh. That doesn't sound good. Captain, there's a lot of unusual lava movement beneath the cave. It could erupt at any moment. You better find Frank quickly. Oh, uh oh, get down! Oh, I thought the whole cave was gonna collapse. I can't see. Look, the rover cat is right here in front of us. Uh, Quasi. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> These Octo goggles really do make things look bigger. Look, there's Frank's rock. Frank! He's not there. Oh, no. Hey, so, buddy! Over here! Frank, are you all right? We're here to rescue you. Hey, it's pretty great down here, ain't it? I met a lot of nice folks. There's Joe. Hi there. And Eddie. How you doing? And LaVert. Hello. And, and that's old Pops. Oh, uh, howdy. You mean water bears can actually live down here? We sure can. <laughs> no. But don't you little mateys get hot? I told you we was tough. A little heat don't bother us. Captain, the lava tube is about to erupt. We're on our way out, Dashi. You water bears should come with us. Ah, oh, we're good. We don't mind the heat. Yeah, we like it hot. Harder the better. Oh, we're happy where we are. But the whole cave is about to fill up with lava. No problem. We'll be just fine. Hold on, did you say lava? Oh. Run for your lives! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Our little legs don't go so fast. Here. Hop on. Don't mind if I do. I'll follow the fence. Now that's a bit. Oh, I stay out. Is it just me? Or is it getting hotter in here? Yow! Lava. We have to hurry. This would be a lot easier if I were bigger and faster. Come on, hey, so My Uncle Gary always says it doesn't matter how big or fast you are, you just gotta be tough. How can you be sleepy at a time like this? When water bears get really hot, we go to sleep until it's safe to wake up. Just a little bit further. Look out! Whoa! Everybody okay? I think so. Water bears? Uh, yeah, uh, we're good. Are you okay? Never better. Wake me when it cools down. Good. Now let's move. Wait, where's Frank? Uh, he, he was just here. Yo, Frankie! Frank, where are you? He must have fallen off. He's not here. But that means he's somewhere back there. On the other side of those rocks. We can't leave him behind. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find a way to get through that rock pile. But we'll have to hurry. Allow me, Captain. Your turn. See the other side. <laughs> One of you will have to swim through. That tunnel's too small for me. But it's just the right size for me. <laughs> it's all up to you, Peso. I'm coming for you, Frank. <sighs> Frank, where are you? He could be anywhere. Frank, is that you? Frank! Oh, thank goodness! Flappity flippers! Peso, hurry! Are we going for a ride? Gotcha, matey! Let's go! Octonauts, keep going! We made it! Hooray! That was a close one. Hey, we're outside. What did I miss? Everybody made it out of the lava tube safe and sound. You said it, and it's all thanks to Peso. Peso! Way to go! I know you had it in you, buddy. I may not be the biggest or the fastest, but I'm still tough. He sure You're is. You're even tougher than my uncle uh, Gary. Yeah, the toughest penguin I ever saw. That's our buddy. There you go, Tunip. 
Some warm kelp soup should help your Vegema pox feel better. Looks like we need more soup. Give him some medicine for their Vegema pox. Peso can't make the medicine until he finds the special ingredient. Peso, come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red algae? Not yet, Captain. There isn't much of it in this part of the ocean. <gasps> Peso, over here. Red algae. This should be just enough for the Vegemal's medicine. Captain, we found some. Excellent work. Now hurry back to the octopod. The vegetables are getting a bit, um, restless. <laughs> We're on our way. Oh! The algae. Excuse me, I... Hey, Piero, this here's my home. I think I dropped something down there. Ah, and that's where it's still. No trespassing. <laughs> Careful, Peso. That's a moray eel, and they can be very protective of their homes. Captain, we've got a bit of a problem here. The red algae has fallen into a moray eel's lair. Hmm. Hurry back to the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yeah! Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, a bottle of red algae has fallen into the home of a moray eel. We need that algae to make the Vegemal's medicine. Ah, why don't you let me take care of that slippery old eel? I'll give him the old... I don't think that's a good idea, Quasi. Moray eels can be very dangerous, especially when they're defending their home. But maybe there's some way you can lure the eel out of his lair. And while he's chasing after me, Peso can slip inside and get the algae. Uh, but what if the eel comes back before I can find it? Hmm. I've got it. Sea snakes. They can be very poisonous, and even Moray eels know to stay away from them. So all we have to do is find a couple of poisonous sea snakes and ask them nicely to keep their fangs to themselves and help us. Precisely. Count me in. That may be a little difficult. Captain, I have a friend who may be able to help. He's not a poisonous sea snake, is he? Ahem. <laughs> not exactly. According to Professor Inkling, his friend lives somewhere around here. I don't see anyone. <gasps> Peso, don't move a muscle. What is it, Quasi? There's a dangerous fish right in front of you. A banded soul. You're lucky I spotted it, matey. Banded souls are very poisonous. Professor Inkling's friend is a banded soul? <laughs> Professor Inkling? <laughs> he is indeed my friend, but I... No banded soul. <gasps> You're an octopus. Not just any octopus. A mimic octopus. Sir Mortimer, the mimic octopus, at your service. Any friends of Professor Inkling are friends of mine. But how did you... I, I mean, I, I knew it was a trick. Oh, it was no mere trick, my boy. We mimic octopuses cannot squirt ink to get away from predators, uh, so we must protect ourselves by pretending to be poisonous sea creatures. Wow. Not bad. <gasps> Not bad? My dear fellow, it is magnificent. Wait till you see my poisonous lion fish. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Mortimer, can you impersonate a sea snake? Prepare to be dazzled as this mimic octopus becomes not one, not two, but three poisonous sea snakes. Hiss, hiss, hiss! Meh. Bravo, Mortimer. 
We need an actor of your talent for a special mission. Do you think you could help us? Lead on, my seafaring friend. My audience awaits. Show off. I heard that. There he is. All right, everyone. Here's the plan. Step one, Quasi, on my signal, you'll lure the eel out of his lair and lead him into this rocky reef. Aye, aye, Captain. Step two, Peso, you swim inside to look for the bottle. Righto. Step three, to keep the eel from coming back too soon, Mortimer will create a distraction here. It shall be among my greatest performances. <sighs> Octonauts and Mortimer, let's do this. <laughs> Step one, Quasi, go. Yeah! Oh, stay away from my home. Arr! Come and get me, you toothy lump. Oh, knew you're asking for it. Arr! Okay, so time for step two. I'm entering the lair, Captain. The algae has to be around here somewhere. <laughs> It. My lionfish impersonation had you fooled. Well, I suppose, but only for a second. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Was he? In here. <laughs> and you'll stay in there if you know it's good for you. He's heading back to his home. Quasi, are you okay in there? Yes, Captain. Carry on with the plan. Come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red algae? Not yet, Captain. It's a bit of a tight squeeze in here. We'll buy you some more time. On to step three. Here he comes. Ready, Mortimer? Ready for the performance of a lifetime, dear boy. Sea snakes! Yes, we are one, two, three sea snakes. Be gone, or we'll bite you inside out. Hiss, hiss, hiss! Um, don't overdo it. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I think I'll take another way home. Excellent, Mortimer. Another five star performance. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Peso, any luck? Captain, I think I see the bottle. But it's stuck. Oh, no. The eel's taking a shortcut. Peso, the eel is coming back. Fast. You've got to get out of there. Now. Almost got it. Yes. Time to skedaddle. Ah, let's pass up. What are you doing in my home? Peso, grab on. Yeah. Nice work in there, Peso. Quasi, mission accomplished. We're on our way to pick you up. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Captain. Huh? As for you, Sir Mortimer, don't think you can fool me this time. I wouldn't do that if I were you, dear boy. Sea snake bites are poisonous. I know that, but these aren't sea snakes. They're... Sea snakes! Ew! Hop on! We've got to get this medicine back to the vegetables. There you go. You'll be better in no time. The captain tells me your performance was quite brilliant. It was. We couldn't have done it without your help, Mortimer. A mimic octopus is always happy to put on a show. And I have a new impression now to add to my repertoire. You do? <laughs> sea snakes, yo! <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone, join in. 
Right, let's go!